Nats True Crime Podcast, and I'm going to talk about haunted places in Haverhill and Hanson, Massachusetts. Walnut Cemetery, located at 1830 Canosa Street, Haverhill, Massachusetts. Walnut Cemetery in Haverhill, Massachusetts is said to be haunted by the fear of a woman known as the Lady in White, whose apparition is allegedly seen by visitors and nearby motorists. Motorizers. Motorists at night. The woman in white is believed to be the spirit of a young woman named Lydia here who passed away in 1827 at the age of 14. However, the reason of her presence at the cemetery is unknown. Over the years, many Haverhill locals have reported encountering the spirit of the woman in white as well as experiencing other unexplained paranormal phenomena such as sudden cold spots and drop in temperature as well as feeling the presence of a unseen entity. Hilldale Cemetery located at 337 Hill Dorf Hilldale Avenue Haverhill, Massachusetts Established in 1959, Hilldale Cemetery in Haverhill, Massachusetts is a 20-acre cemetery containing over 4,000 burial plots. It is said to be haunted by the spirit of the man and woman who first settled the area and who devoted their lives to building the town of Haverhill. Visitors at the old cemetery also report witnessing the apparitions of former Civil War soldiers in the area known as Soldier Hill. Other reports feeling sudden cold spots and drop in temperature as well as feeling the presence of an unseen entity in the early 2000s. A non-profit organization called Hilldale Cemetery Station was found for founded the re store the cemetery and reported damage stained after it was abandoned during the early 1900s. Also, American Civil War ghosts, folklore, and encyclopedia. Plymouth County Hospital, Hanson Tuberculosis Hospital, located at 266 High Street and Country Institution Road, Hanson, Massachusetts. Plymouth County Hospital in Hanson, Massachusetts was established in 1919 as Hanson Tuberculosis Hospital, which was re- removed, renowned as the time of its state of the art children's ward it is sometimes also referred to as the cranberry specialist hospital in 1965 the hospital was redesigned for use as a senior living living facility which closed in 1992 
to to financial difficulties over the years Vernon been to spread that the old hospital was haunted by a the spirit of home tuberculosis patients who died slow painful death. Many patients were also subject to painful experimental medical procedures such as the bronchoscopic balloon dilatation where a small rubber balloon was inserted into the patient's lung to facilitate proper breathing. Those brave enough to enter the decaying building, building of Plymouth County Hospital have reported witnessing apparitions and shadow figures as well as hearing the sounds of disembodied voices, whispers, and screams. Other witnessing hearing the sound of children laughing. Children's laughter. As well as experiencing sudden cold sweats and chills. Urban explorers also put objects such as rocks and debris being thrown by a unseen entity. The Plymouth County Hospital was torn down in 2007 after a series of fires destroying most of the remaining buildings. However, many still believe that surrounding location to be haunted. Thanks for watching my podcast. Please like, subscribe, and comment.